Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a comparison between ClickUp and Notion. ClickUp and Notion can both be used as awesome project managers. However, there is major differences between them. ClickUp is built as a project management tool, whereas Notion can do so many other things as well as being a project management software. In this video, we will take a look at both of these tools, including the pricing, the features, and which one of these is actually best as a project management tool. Now, the best thing about both of these straight off the bat is they both have awesome free plans. So if you do want to test out ClickUp or Notion as a project management tool, both of these free plans will allow you to do exactly that. If I switch these over to dollars, we can see that Notion is going to be slightly more expensive. This plus plan is $8 per month compared to ClickUp at seven. And then the business on Notion is $15 per month compared to the 12 on ClickUp. But once again, I would not really read too much into these pricing plans as of now, because we can test out everything that we need and show all of the features and functionality on this free plan. And then if you do use this free plan and you do need to upgrade in the future, then just keep in mind that Notion is going to be slightly more expensive. But now let's go in and actually test out both of these tools. So what I would say about these is Notion is a little bit harder to use and it's not as user friendly. The main reason for this is because within Notion, there are just so many things that you can do. Notion is not specifically built for project management. For example, if we go to templates, we can see there are so many different things that we can do. We can use Notion as a design portfolio that we can see right here. We can use this to create pitch decks. We can use this to create CRMs and guides and employee benefits for HR. There is so many different things that we can do inside of Notion. This is essentially an all-in-one tool that we can also use to create a project manager. So this can be a pro and a con, depending on what you are going to be using this for. Because yes, we can create a project manager inside of Notion, but you can also pair this with so many other things that you can create right here and have them all inside of one tool. The only downside is it is a little bit harder to use because there is so much going on. Whereas with ClickUp, on the other hand, this is strictly a project management tool. And yes, we do have some other things. For example, we can create documents inside of ClickUp. So this is going to show up like this. We can also create like whiteboards where we can draw and we can create mind maps. But the main feature, the main thing that ClickUp is sold as is a project management tool. So let's go in and actually test out the project manager on each of these. We just want to go into templates. Then right here, we can see projects and tasks. So we can click into get template and this is automatically going to load the template in. With ClickUp on the other hand, we can come down here and create a list. Let's just call this test. And this is the project management tool inside of ClickUp. So what I'm actually going to do is just delete all of these right here so we can start completely from scratch. And then let's create these both as YouTube videos. So we can call this YouTube videos and then we can go back here. And instead of calling this test, we'll call this YouTube videos. So now we can go in and actually start creating specific tasks. So let's say I want to create a task for this video right here, which is ClickUp versus Notion. So let's go in and call this ClickUp versus Notion. And we now have this task created right here. This is the video that I want to create, and I'm going to be using my project manager to do this. On Notion, we go up here and click on new. And then for this new task, we will call this the same thing, ClickUp versus Notion, just like this. Then as you can see, we have both of these tasks right here. Once again, this is personal preference, but I would say the user interface and how easy this is to use, ClickUp is going to be slightly better, although Notion is not bad. Then what we can do inside of these is you can see open right here on Notion. So we can hover over the task, click on open, and this is going to open this big more information at the side. The way that we do this on ClickUp is we click into the task and you can see, although this is a slightly different layout, we basically have the same information. Then what we can do in both of these is add some tasks and break this down for us and our team to see exactly what needs to be done in order to complete this task. So we can go add subtask. 
And then in here, let's create some subtasks. So we can create this as script video. Then let's create one for record video, then edit video and upload video. Just like that, we now have all of these subtasks created and our team can come along and complete all of these subtasks. So if we back out of this, you can see we can now drop down this menu and see all of the different subtasks that are contained in this main task. On ClickUp, we can do the exact same thing. So we go to the subtask section and just type out all of the different subtasks that we want to do. They are all now created. Then once again, we can just drop this down and see all of the subtasks that are contained within this task. The one downside to Notion that I would say over this is the fact that because this isn't a project management tool and essentially it just creates new pages for these subtasks, we can't actually check them off in the same way. So we basically have two options here. We can either go to each subtask, go here to icons and choose like a check mark icon like this. And then this check mark is going to show up once this is complete. So we could just go down and add the same thing to each of these, the little check mark right here. Or alternatively, once this subtask is complete, we can just unlink the page and get rid of it from here. However, on ClickUp, because this is specifically designed as a project manager, look how much better this is. All we have to do is check this mark. Then we can move this to in progress or complete. And this is going to show how many subtasks we've actually completed up here. If we want to see the subtasks that we have already completed, we can go show closed and we can see this has been completed. Notion doesn't offer this and although this isn't a deal breaker, it just isn't as smooth and easy as what we can see right here on ClickUp. Outside of being able to complete subtasks, we also might want to assign people or team members to this specific task. If we want to do this, we just see the assignee box right here on Notion click into this, and then all of the team members that we have added will show up right here. I have not got any team members added on this Notion board, so I will just assign myself. As you can see, I am now assigned to this task. I can do the same thing here on ClickUp by going to Assignee, and then choosing the team member that I want to add. Now we can see the specific team member that is assigned to each task. Taking this a step further within ClickUp, what we can actually do is we can assign specific team members to subtasks. So let's say I want to assign this subtask of record video to Jamie, but editing the video, I want to assign to Sarah. We can do this inside of ClickUp. Whereas on Notion, this isn't really possible. We can go in here, we can open this up. And if we go into subtasks right here, let's add this one, we can see that we can't really add any team members to specific subtasks. So that is another downside that you need to take into account when using Notion. Apart from that though, very easy, we can add a due date right here. Let's say this is due for Friday, tomorrow, we can add a due date. We can do the exact same thing over here on ClickUp. We add the due date, select that, you can see it shows up here as tomorrow. Then by default, we also have a priority section where we can choose which priority we want to add this as. Let's go high. We can do the same right here on ClickUp. So we can set this between urgent or high. I will go urgent. And then what we can also do is we can add new properties or new sections into this area. So you can see we have quite a lot right here on Notion. We can add in people, we can link URLs, we can add an email, we can add all of these different things right here. And we can also do the same on ClickUp. Now ClickUp is going to be better and easier to use and there's a lot to add in right here. Overall, I would say that the sections and the things that you can add in on ClickUp are going to be better and more intuitive than Notion as it just overall works better, but it's completely up to you and I would recommend testing them both out if this is something that you are going to be looking into. Another thing that in my opinion, ClickUp does a lot better than Notion is this board view right here. So if we go over to the board view, we can see to do, in progress and complete. And this is how we can keep track of where specific tasks are in the pipeline. So we can just move this along to in progress, for example, and we can see that is now in progress. We can also do this from another way. If we go add column, you need to search this. It won't show up down here, but we can search for status and turn this on. And then we can see that status is going to show up in this area. And we can also toggle the status right here. So we can change this back to to do. And if we go over to the board, 
this is automatically going to jump back. But the main thing I like about this is the subtasks show up right here. So we can expand these and also minimize them. Whereas if we go over to Notion and we go to the board right here, you can see it's just not as intuitive. Everything that we have here, we can move them along just as easy, but this isn't automatically going to move with all of these subtasks. They're just going to stay stuck here. We need to manually move them along. And especially if you have a lot of tasks in here, having subtasks can really clutter up this area. So that is definitely something to watch out for. We can go back though. Let's say we want to change the status to done right here. We can see if we go over to the board, that is automatically going to move. But once again, these subtasks are going to remain and there's a lot more clicking. It's just not as easy and intuitive as ClickUp. So those are my main takeaways. Overall, what I would say about these two is Notion can be very handy if you want to combine a slightly less effective project management tool, but you are also going to use some of these other templates and having them all in the right place, all within one Notion dashboard. If that's going to be handy to you, go with Notion. However, the fact that the project management tool itself, when strictly looking at this as a project manager, ClickUp is a lot better and it's also going to be cheaper if you do want to upgrade to one of the paid plans. So that is ClickUp versus Notion. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.